Hello, welcome back to the vlog. We are watching Ant-Man Quantumania. We are in our marble gear. We're gonna go ahead inside and we'll catch you after the movie. All right, well now we are going on a little hike. We just finished the movie like a couple hours ago. I thought it was okay. I feel like everyone's been giving it really bad reviews, but like I'm a Marvel fan, but I wouldn't say I'm like heavily invested the way other Marvel like super fans are. So I think for me, I didn't mind it. But I think that's about it as far as like my thoughts. What'd you think? Uh, I thought the movie was pretty, like it was okay too. I think it's better than what people were saying about how it was bad, <laughs> but I don't know. I think the MCU has some like real work to do to kind of explain the multiverse to people in a better format or in a better way. Canceled, so sorry for the lack of vlogs, but we are here in Alhambra at Sahoy Kitchen. If you've never had their hind and chicken here, it is the best, so you definitely have to come check it out. We're just doing a little like rainy day date day, I guess. So just needed to get out of the house for a little bit. So go next. We ended up getting Buffa Muffa. Is that better? Kevin still makes fun of the way I say it. But I did end up getting that blueberry matcha that he got last time because it was so good. And I feel like that was definitely the right choice to go with this time. But we are honestly still a little hungry after we had lunch at Savoy. Next time, we're gonna do what the like table next to us did. And they ordered a whole chicken, which I guess comes with rice. And then you can just order an extra plate of rice and then just share it, uh, which I think is probably better for your money's worth and stuff. So. We're gonna do that next time but yeah we are still a little bit hungry so i really want to go get a pretzel at the mall and i've been watching crazy ex-girlfriend the last few weeks um i think after i met rachel bloom at the your place or mine premiere my friend my new friend that i met at the premiere uh told me that i should watch it it's such a really good show and so i started watching and I'm hooked and yeah in season four she opens like a pretzel shop and so I've just been staring at pretzels the last few episodes and so now I'm craving pretzels so we're heading to the mall we're gonna get the pretzel I'll see you in a bit mall is so updated like we used to grow up coming to this mall we're like shook like there's a bolero now home I have been sitting on this package that I got last week for a whole week but I figured we can unbox it together I know what it is you don't know what it is but I ordered this bag back in December and at the time when I ordered it, it was a pre-order so it finally came in last week um, I don't know why it took me so long to open it because I have been waiting a while, but I don't know. But here we go. I'm going to open it now. It is from Fendi. So if you don't know, I kind of have a little bit of an obsession with Fendi baguettes. Yes, because of Sex in the City and Carrie Bradshaw. But there is a very specific baguette style that I like. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know what it is. Without further ado, I've got... The wrapping, here is the dust bag, and so it is the purple sequin Fendi baguette. Uh, you may remember this from Sex and the City in, I think it was like season three. If you remember where Carrie gets mugged and the mugger takes her Fendi baguette, but this is definitely the updated version because the 
one that she had the original the strap i believe is just like connected to the bag and this one has like a detachable mini strap and then it also comes with a shoulder strap that you can also detach and i like this style because you do have that like versatility with the bag so you can wear it you know just as a handbag you can wear it as a crossbody you could have both straps so yeah this is my favorite style from fendi i do have a hot pink one which was also another like sarah jessica parker slash carrie bradshaw um special limited edition one that one is currently getting repaired and i also have a lime green one which also needs to go get repaired so i am a little scared to use this because this is one of my like holy grail bags that i have been waiting so long to add to my collection i actually put the pre-order in back in december and i feel like that was really random and lucky because i was just randomly checking the website and i saw that they had this color again for a pre-order and I had tried to get it back in, I think it was 2021 when they did a re-release before and just like that premiered. And I unfortunately was not able to get one at the time. So I was really looking forward to hopefully this style coming back or this color coming back. And my essay told me that they only made a hundred with this round. So I was one of the lucky hundred who snagged one. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the sequence. It just adds so much like dimension with like the sparkle and I always get compliments wearing my other ones so yee, I'm just so happy that this one's finally in my collection I hope after this bag that I can say I have purse piece and that I won't feel the need to splurge on any more designer bags anytime soon but I don't know I guess we'll see but right now I do need to save so that is my new bag and I don't know if there's really anything else that we're gonna do today it is just kind of dreary weather outside so it makes me kind of just want to get in bed and do nothing like i have all week but yeah this week has just been a lot slower than i had planned for and to be honest i'm not mad about it i think my body really needed to rest like last night i slept 12 hours i think like two nights ago i slept like 10 hours so i have just been trying to like recoup on my energy but yeah i've just been watching a lot of tv working but trying to take it easy you know so tomorrow we are going to go to the amundsen for the secret garden opening night so i'm really excited to see that and yeah we'll take you along on all those things but i think that's it for today so we'll see you tomorrow secret garden we went to an after party afterwards and it was one of the biggest after parties i think we've been invited to which was pretty wild yeah we went to the dorothy chandler pavilion which is i think like a building or two over from the amundsen so it wasn't very far and it was a huge party there were so many people there it was not what we expected normally like the influencer like events that we go to with center theater group is either like before or after the show and they're usually pretty low-key so this was i mean a lot of the stuff was the same but i think just the volume of people that were invited uh, was a lot bigger than I expected and it was really cool because we also got to meet Jason Earls and uh, Matt Cornette and Adrian Lyles all from High School Musical the musical the series I obviously I know Jason Earls from Hannah Montana uh, that was I feel like that was like my era of Disney Channel but yeah they were all really nice uh, they were all there because Julia Lester is in the show and she was amazing by the way as far as like thoughts on this show it was definitely a lot more traditional than I expected like traditional theater like the style of singing and just like the style of acting and all of that and I think I didn't really like expect that but it wasn't like a bad thing or anything I was just a little surprised I guess because I had no idea what to expect going into the show the cast was phenomenal everyone was just so 
great. Like their voices were great and the acting was great. The main girl who played Mary Lennox was really good. And also the kid that played Colin was really good. So if you're in the LA area, definitely go check out The Secret Garden at the Amundsen Theater. It is playing there now through March 26th. A huge thank you again to Center Theater Group for having us and always treating us so well. Um, they're definitely one of my favorite partners to work with. They're just always so kind and the staff is always just the nicest. So anyways, I think that wraps up this vlog. Hope you enjoyed following along. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we will see you in next week's vlog. Bye.